Hi, this is one of the many videos that are available on this channel on SQL Server Index Internals topic. It's a series and today's topic is multiple recommendations by SSMS. Now SQL Server Management Studio or SQL Server in general has this missing index hint feature. Uh, then this is how it works. If you execute a query and include actual execution plan is turned on and for some reason the optimizer thinks that a particular index is missing and if that index existed it could be useful for that particular query to improve performance then SSMS is going to recommend an index to you if you switch on to the execution plan tab and you will see a missing index hint there and you can right click and get into missing index details and it will give you the definition out there. Now to my surprise what I have seen over a period of time is many people do not know that this missing index hint or this missing index feature uh, can actually recommend you multiple uh, indexes for a given query and what we sometimes tend to do is just look at the first recommendation that is given by SSMS but then you can get multiple recommendations and this is what I want to show to you through a quick demo. So let's uh, straight away jump into the demo. Now in this example I have a database called lob and I'm using that database. There is a table called tbl orders. Right now this table tbl orders is a heap so if I do sp help index you will see that this particular table does not have any indexes. Now this is um, a long demo so I mean the, the query and what I was actually doing is long but I'm just going to show you a part of it. So here is a script that is actually joining multiple tables, TBL orders with customers and um, employees using certain attributes but observe that I am actually filtering on one of the attributes order ID so that's there in my predicate in the where clause um, less than a million so this particular table has of course more than a million records and I will also ensure that include actual execution plan is turned on so turn that on or press control M and when I execute this query and this is going to take a few seconds because all that this is doing is joining multiple tables and fetching a lot of data on the client side. So it's just going to take a few seconds, probably 13 or 14 seconds. And this is done. Now, when I switch on to the execution plan tab, you can see that SSMS has recommended an index here. So you can see this green thing there on the top. And when I right click on this, get into missing index details, this is the recommendation that you get from SQL Server. Now the optimizer thinks that if you have an index on order ID attribute, a non-clustered index and include all these columns, it's going to give you approximately a 37% improvement. That's the impact it can have positively. Now remember the recommendations given by SQL Server, you should not follow them blindly. It's up to you to evaluate and see which index could be good, bad, and, and take your decisions accordingly. And of course, you would definitely want to do a few uh, trial and error. But that's, that's a discussion for another video probably or another session altogether. What is what, is what I want to show you here is that uh, most of the times SMS, uh, SSMS would actually recommend you a covering index. Now, what is a covering index here? You're actually creating an index on order ID, which is the index key but it tells you to include all these columns in the leaf level of the non-clustered index which means this index is going to cover the entire query all the data that your query needs will be satisfied by this index alone so let's do something let's just go ahead and create this index and I already have this uh, scripted out there in my query so I'm just going to show this to you that you have order ID and rest of the columns in the include keyword so let me switch back to my script and I will just scroll down and show you the index definition. So this is the one that was recommended just a while ago. So I'm, I'm naming it as one underscore something. 
you have this order ID and all the columns. Let's go ahead and create this. Creating the index here is going to be very quick. Job done. Let's go back to the editor. And now you will be surprised to see that when I run this query again, you're going to see that the index is going to be used. So just let me select this and execute again. Now, when you run this query, what you expect is that SQL Server is going to use the index that we have just created. And obviously it should be doing it because SQL Server recommended that query, uh, that index to you. But to your surprise, you will also see that now SQL Server actually recommends another index to you. Now, this is where it baffles me a bit because it's actually recommending two indexes for a single query. And despite I created that index and I want to show you that this index is actually being used, uh, the one that you just created. So if I scroll out a little, okay, I just can't do that. This is the one here. Uh, let me use the magnifier just to show that to you. There you go. So you can actually see that uh, one underscore is being used, but yeah, this is not the, um, this is the index that uh, was recommended. And now you have another index recommendation coming in. So I will right click and go to mis missing index details. And it tells you, go ahead and create another index, but this time create a composite index on employee ID and order ID and rest of the columns in include. So basically the only difference between this index and the previous one is that it takes the employer ID uh, from include uh, section and puts it in the index key definition. What's also interesting to see that this particular index gives you probably a performance improvement of 73%. That's the impact it is recommending. Now the question is what's going on? You have one recommendation coming in and then you implement it and you then have the second recommendation coming in. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm not going to create this index now, but what's important for you to see is that both recommendations were actually made right in the first go but you you could not observe it because of some limitations with the tool and you got to go into the properties window to kind of see it so that probably probably will conclude the remaining part of the video so i will just go ahead and drop the index and where is my drop statements there you are I will go ahead and drop this first index that I had created and I will run this query again. Oops, what's that query? Oh, sorry, not this one. I am supposed to run this one. And now this is back to a heap and you have no index. And the purpose of this last piece uh, in the demo is to show you that multiple indexes were recommended right in the first place, right in the beginning when you ran the query for the first time. And when I go to the execution plan, you get the same recommendation again. But what I want to show you is you got to go into the properties window. So I press F4 and then I will, I'll just select the select operator here and uh, be careful. I, I just kind of clicked on hash match and back to the select operator. Otherwise it was showing me connection properties. And when I select the select operator, there is this missing index information. And if you observe carefully, I am expanding it. And there are two recommendations. You see one here and then two. And if I expand one and then two, you will see two recommendations. Let me keep expanding it. And I'm expanding one after the other. And you go to column group and the first column group and the column, which is order ID. Remember, we were using a greater than sign there so that's the inequality order id that's the first index recommendation with an impact performance impact of approximately 37 percent and if i expand the second one column group the first one column equality look at this employee id uh, that's for the equality operator because employee id was used uh, for the purpose of joining in um, and it was an equi join and then the second column comes in inequality, which is again order ID and the rest of the columns, of course, uh, are coming under include section. So there are four columns here and there would be five columns in the first one. And of course, this one has 74% impact. So what's the learning from this uh, quick video that whenever you get a, a missing index recommendation, just like what you have in front of you here on SSMS, please 
take the pain of getting into the properties window to just kind of quickly evaluate are you being recommended just one index or more than one index for your given query as you see in this example the second index is more appropriate for that given query but just the way the tool is it, it pops up and shows you the first one which uh, probably may not be as good as the second one well thank you very much for your time hope uh, it was a good learning for you come back and there will be uh, more videos on this channel you can also subscribe to the data platform geeks uh, youtube channel which is youtube.com slash sql server geeks and subscribe to this one which is sql maestros i am available on twitter which is twitter.com slash a underscore bansal so if you want to follow me on twitter that's the url you need to follow thank you and see you again soon goodbye